Hello and welcome to Back Gaming and this new series about the Sims 4 effect player that has been made by Andrew from the Sims 4 Studio Forum. In this first episode I will show you where to download it, how to install it and how it will work in game. In the next episodes I will show you different effects which you can play with the effect player and some tips and tricks on how to use them in game. Each episode will have a specific theme, for example birds, water or steam effects. So let's start at the beginning, where to download this effect player. The effect player can only be downloaded at the Sims 4 Studio forum and you will find a link to Andrew's Creator Studio down below in the description. After clicking the link, this is what you see. Now scroll down until you see this big download button and click it. Save it to your computer and then extract it. Inside you will find two files. One is a package file and the other one is a The Sims 4 script file. Both have to be placed into your mods folder which you will probably find right here. Another thing that might come in handy is the full list of EA effects, which you can find in the same post just above the download button. Just click that one too and save it to your computer. Now that we've downloaded and installed everything we need, let's take a look in game. In build mode type effect player into the search bar, then select it and place it onto your lot. Now click it and choose select effect. Now you can choose an effect of the effect list. For this example I will use the code EP1 underscore Tesla underscore coil and press OK. To stop this effect click on it once again and choose stop effect. You can also replay it by clicking it again and pressing replay effect. As you can see the Tesla coil effect will replay itself over and over again. But not all effects will work this way. To show you an example of one that doesn't loop I will buy another effect player and use the code EP1 underscore give birth underscore alien and press OK. Now there are a couple of things you will notice. First of all it will be played immediately after clicking OK. This could be very annoying if you want to use it in a video or screenshot. Secondly it doesn't loop. This could be a good thing of course but sometimes you need an effect to be played more than once to get the right video or screenshot. To solve these problems click the effect player again and click select effect. Now go to the end of the code, press spacebar and type delay colon and the seconds you want the effect to wait before it will play. For this example let's use 2 seconds. Press the spacebar again and type loop colon and the seconds you want to have in between the effects before starting the next one. In this case 2.5 seconds. Now press spacebar again and type max colon and the times you want the effect to loop. For this example let's use 3 times. Now click OK and see what happens. Now let's use a third effect player and look at the extra options we will get when using more than one effect player at the same time. With the option hide others you will hide all other effect players but the effects will stay. This is a great option for making screenshots and video. If you want them back simply choose show all so you can delete or move them. To stop all effects from playing choose stop all. To replay them all choose replay all. You can also put the FX player into your inventory. Some small important things you need to remember. First of all I discovered that you don't always have to have the expansion, game or stuff pack where the FX came from to be able to play them. That doesn't mean that everything will work though. Some FX will only work at certain times, for example only at daytime. Not all FX will be seen immediately after pressing OK. Sometimes you need to wait for a couple more seconds. Some effects will not be played at the same spot where you place your effect player, but some meters away from it. You don't have to be in build mode to move them, you can just click and drag in lift mode too. To move them to a specific place you can hold alt for free movement and use the move objects cheat code to place them very close or in other objects. When enter the cheat code you can also use the number 9 to move them up and 0 to move them down. Some effects will be shown underneath the effect player. To make those visible use the move objects cheat code and the number 9 key to raise the effect player. When the move objects on cheat is used and the effect player is raised, changing the wallpaper inside a building will remove the effect player. 
Some effects can be very large, resulting in hiding the effect layer. To make it more easier to delete or move them, make them larger using the bracket keys on your keyboard. If you don't know which code is used for a certain effect that you placed, just move your cursor over that effect player to see its code. If you hide all effect players and delete the one that's left, you can just buy a new one to make them visible again. And last but not least, effects placed will be saved with your game. You maybe only have to use the replay all option after loading your game. As you now know everything about how to use the effect player, you can now play with the thousands of effects that can be used. To make it more easier which effects to use in different situations, you can watch my next episodes. In episode 2 you can watch all kind of bird effects for example. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it so more people will be able to find it. If you got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Don't want to miss any future effect player episodes, tutorials or custom content videos, then please subscribe and hope to see you next time here on Bike Gaming.